What's up, y'all? It's Shanira the Mouthpiece checking in with uh, uh, another episode of Starting Over This Cali Life. This video is one of two. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just not getting around to making a video, um, but I didn't want to rush through it. And this week has been just the most. And um, but this is more uh, on the deeper side, if you will. <clears throat> so. For part one of this one, I want to share with you um, something about being obedient to the Spirit. Now, I'm prefacing this with letting you know, in case you don't already know, uh, I am a Christian. <clears throat> and so, um, when I say Spirit, I'm referencing the Holy Spirit who guides me, talks to me, i.e. through nudgings, through people, messages, all sorts of things. Um, but... I do know there's also a part of all humans, no matter what your belief system is, where God is speaking to us all. So in case you're not a Christian, that doesn't mean you can stop watching this now. Just listen to what I got to say. This is this would be this should be very simple. Um, today is Friday and um, it's been a week since I started two jobs now. If you've been keeping up with me, you know that uh, almost two weeks ago, so last, last Monday, if you will, I had a major audition. This is not about the audition. On the way to the first round of the audition, I got a call from um, the owner of the cafe that I now work part-time for, okay? I applied to that cafe a little over a month ago, never heard anything about it. The weekend... Before that Monday, he called me. Uh, I was walking, taking my regular little walk around the neighborhood. And Spirit literally said, now I had on just my little jogging suit or whatever. It wasn't This is not a part of my agenda when I left the house. I need you to stop at the cafes that you applied at. I walked past the first one, didn't, <laughs> didn't go in, but I, I felt very strongly spirit spirit was guiding me to go to the second one and i did i stopped in and i saw that there was some different uh, guys behind the counter or whatever not the same people i had originally submitted my resume to the young guy was very polite he said that the owner would be in next week um, he said could i please write down my name he literally tore off a little slip of paper and i wrote down my name and number when I tell you, I did not have faith that that little toe-off piece of paper, that young man, couldn't have been no more than 18, that that little paper was going to make it to that manager's hand. But, two days later, I get a call. And the uh, manager said he wanted me to come in and do a trial run on Friday and see if I wanted to give it a real go. So, I just wanted to share that with you about these promptings. Now, I've been on this plan a little while. I'm in my 30s. And every time I did not hearken to the still small voice, as you might want to call it, or in my case, if you don't hearken to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit, we suffer for it. I would venture to say that I might not have gotten a call from that manager had I not went in there and showed my face again after a month of hearing nothing. So my question and your takeaway right now is what have you not done that spirit has told you to do no excuses you ain't gotta answer me i can't hear you no way when spirit tells you to move sometimes that stuff is time sensitive sometimes you are literally walking yourself out of a blessing because you don't do stuff when you're supposed to and this is a special admonishment to my fellow christians do what you're supposed to your blessing is in your hands that's it. Signing off. Be blessed.